Look, there they are. It's exactly as Comrade Joachim described. Nothing can stop me from realizing my aims in this sacred place. Enough of this madness. You're just as demented as Joachim was. Don't drag me into your deranged fantasy. Are you really in a position to lecture me about fantasies? Paradise, I believe it was called. On what grounds can a patron of that place call me demented? I was only tricked into going there by one of the cultists. Had I known the truth behind it, I, I'd had never set foot inside, or a single foot inside. It even drugged me. I'm the victim here, me. My goodness, do you really think society would accept such a pathetic excuse? I'm sure the Crossbell Times would love to run a full feature on your little escapades. Stop right there. Like a, like a bug bit my finger. The police, they've come for me. Oh, it's you. And here I was thinking all the cockroaches had been exterminated, but look here, two managed to slip through the cracks. Giant altar, this must be the innermost chamber of the lodge. Where are Arios and Dudley? The Divine Blade of Wind and the Ace of the First Division. I left them some gifts to prevent them from interfering. I think ten archaisms should be enough to keep them occupied. No, ten of them? A shame. Uh, those two forced me to use all that... Uh, forced me to use all that my great comrade left behind for me. But I'm sure those toys will be more than enough to get rid of them once and for all. I could finally take my time and savor the sweet moment of my ascension. That's not gonna happen. Put your hands in the air and come quietly. You fail to understand your current situation. That aside, I've been wondering why Ellie wasn't with you. Let's find out, shall we? Ah, I see. She temporarily left the SSS to assist Speaker McDowell. Oh wait, did you just read Lloyd's memories? Cooperating with the new mayor and Speaker as bills and laws are drafted, are we? Fascinating. That would certainly make it easier for the SSS to maneuver, gaining new political footholds, I see. It does seem like something the new mayor would do. Quite an intriguing venture, I'll admit. I must say, though, it's a shame for someone as talented as Ellie to be wasted on the police of all things. What to do, what to do? Well, I suppose I'll just disband the SSS once I take my place as mayor. Then I'll make Ellie my personal secretary. That way, she can make the most of her abilities. Oh yes, that sounds perfect. I think I'll do just that. Ernest. How can you even say that with a straight face? But first and foremost, I must avenge the death of Comrade Joachim. Weeding out the rotten buds will free my dear sweet Ellie from any lingering attachments. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, demonization via red gnosis. How euphoric it is to awaken my powers on holy ground. Perhaps I will make a modest offering before realizing my greatest desires. By making you writhe and beg for your pathetic lives before me. Don't count on it. Target confirmed, convincing suppression. Start off with an analyze. Okay, big damage. Settle for water as well. Thank you. 
That mute is not good. not read that. Unfortunately, you're getting hit by that, but it wasn't ultra mega hyper damage, it was just big damage. Retained by casting. Okay. Eh, it could have been, could have been worse. See if it lets me impede this. It does. This not good. Only hitting Lloydo. Thought he was casting an S craft. I had nothing to worry about. Counter. Oh. as well. Done with that quake though. There's probably gonna be the last stone spike. Alright, boss is dead, don't need to worry about it. But uh, our attacks aren't affecting him. Oh, come now. The time for resignation is long past. This isn't the diet or chamber you once ruled. Your whims have no place here. Ernest, you son of a sucker fool. He's only unconscious. I still have much use for him after all. Besides, you should be far more concerned for your own well-being. What's happening? Each and every one of our lodges was built on top of septium veins. 
With my awakened powers, I will at last be able to open the door to D. It's just as he said. first two hours? No way! Darn it, this is exactly what happened when Joachim went berserk. This is it, the power he obtained. With this, the truth and reality will be at my disposal. Why can I not see anything? Something's not right here. Why? Why does D escape my sight? Why can I not feel the breath of the true God? It is not as I was told. Pull yourself together. Can't you see that Joachim was filling your head with lies? Silence. It matters not. I will begin my reign by sacrificing the two of you. Then I will return to Crossbell, claim Ellie, and take back the Divine Child. You bastard. Lloyd, watch out. What a monster. I bid you farewell. Embrace despair as you turn to dust. Gotcha. Dudley, Arios. Looks like we made it just in time. Good job holding out, Lloyd. Sergeant Major Seeker. I could say the same to you. How come they don't say, like... How come it's always Sergeant Major Seeker, but it's not Special Support Section Lloyd? I know Lloyd's a buster, but... Come on. Come on. Uh, I'm glad you're both alright. Those archaisms kept us busy for longer than I'd care to admit. But we can save the talking for later. We need to take them out. Don't treat this like an ordinary fight. Give it everything you have. Understood. Yes, sir. Roger. Jefferson. Paolo. Again.
Counter. Yeah. Hit that sucker. I'm gonna try to save the yes breaks for like a crit or something that I need to watch out for. At the moment, I'm not seeing anything that necessitates um, whatchamacallit. Burning S craft. Looks like I might not even have to uh, use an S-Break, because I can just S-Craft this. And take that 8800. Am I getting deja vu? Not quite. We're missing a little bit of the, you know, unlimited power. Well, if everybody dies here, then yes. <laughs> Much deja vu. Lloyd might actually die. Okay. That was a giga close. I think I can afford to do the risky business here. Come and watch out. Yelling noises. No. Is he melting? This matches what was written in the report on Joachim's death. The disrespect finisher? Oh, it's more like... I respected myself. No, oh, I don't want to die. You should have thought about that before you fought me. How pitiful. Boyd? What do you think you're doing? Snap out of it, Ernest. Can't give up here. Don't lose yourself to it. There's no way... You ingested as much red gnosis as Joachim did. There's still hope. Don't give up now. Bannings, what are you? Boyd? Why? After all I've done to you, why are you... Doesn't matter right now. The crimes you've committed can't be undone. That's no reason to leave you to your, your fate down here. And I refuse to put Ellie and Speaker McDowell through the pain of your death. What does, ain't nobody care about that. So please, fight through this. Ellie, Speaker McDowell, forgive me. How could I? Grunting noises. Yelling noises. It's not working. Is there anything we can do? In case you need reminding, this isn't exactly our area of expertise. Maybe so. But it would seem the real expert has arrived just in time. What? Oh, Adios, who art in heaven? Uh, with thy light guide home this lost lamb who hath been drawn to evil. Who could be a priestly voice? Is it Kevin? Religious scripture? It's Kevin. You suck a fool. At least, I, I think his name is Kevin. I'm pretty sure it's Kevin. It starts with a K. Who are you? Sorry, kind of running short on time. Treatment first, introductions later. 
Mind if I take it from here? No, not at all. Almost at your limit, huh? I'm impressed you've held out this long. This should help. Cerulean Seal of Mine, shining from the abyss. Clear the miasma and light this lost lamb's path to salvation. What do, the, what do they call these guys again? I forget. Uh, what in the world is that light? It's, it's been such a long time since uh, I've dealt with one of these, these characters. You know, like... Yeah. I was going to blurt out a bunch of things. And uh, I was like, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> He's okay. Dominion. Yes. Thank you, Mr. JRPG. And not a second too soon. How is he? Don't worry. He's only passed out. He isn't in any danger now, but he'll be out of commission for a couple of days. It's great to hear. What a relief. Now hold on a moment here. Just who are you exactly? I can tell you're a priest, but that doesn't explain what you're doing in a place like this. Uh, what's the deal, Arios? You didn't bother to tell him about me. You said you weren't sure if you could make it in time. Given your position, I decided to keep your involvement a secret until necessary. Well, that's how you played it. Man, you haven't changed a bit. Still the same thoughtful guy as ever. I could say say the same to you. Thank you. Your backup was invaluable. Um, so you set up an insurance plan without so much as telling us. You must be part of the Grawls Ritter, correct? A knight of the Septian Church's Congregation of the Sacraments. Grawls Ritter? Congregation for the Sacraments? You mean the group that's tasked with artifact retrieval? Exacto mundo! How's it going? The name's Kevin Graham, member of the Septian Church's Grawls Ritter. I was right, it is Kevin. Arios called me, uh, called me in to lend you guys a hand. Pleased to meet you. And this is a callback from Trails Third when Kevin talked about an incident of a little kid turning to demon. And he couldn't undo the curse. Ah, ah, okay. I see. I'll take a little break from the reading here for a second and drink some water. But Kevin learned. All right, take care of escorting those two back, Dudley. Right, we have it under control. Father Kevin, allow me to express my gratitude. That said, I would have uh, far preferred if you had contacted our department beforehand. Yeah, well, you and me both, buddy. Well, the thing is, us Grawls, uh, Grawls Ritter aren't exactly welcome in Crossbell. I take it that I take it that we have the head of Crossbell Cathedral, Archbishop Aralda, to thank for that. Oh right, Sister Marble mentioned something before the Grawls Ritter being experts of thaumaturgy. Yep, that's one of the things we do. I'll save you the exposition, but long story short, the Archbishop sorta hates our guts now. He uh, prohibited the Grawls Ritter from setting foot in Crossbell again, and I mean like expressly and explicitly prohibited. Archbishop Aralda. I met him once. He didn't exactly strike me as friendly. Rigid is more like it. There's Rigid, and then there's Aralda. Guy could make a plate of steel look like rubber. Then again, given the stuff we do, I can't blame him. It's no wonder that stick in the mud would have it out for us. I'm almost afraid to ask. They do say cases involving artifact retrieval can turn ugly fast. Uh, regardless, you really helped us back there, Father Kevin. Thank you once again. Ah, uh, come on, Arios. I, I owed you one 
Uh, anyway, real talk. I wish I could tag along to see what's going on with this cult stuff. But I don't want to get in, get on the Archbishop's bad side, so give me a ring if you get any new info, yeah? Sure, I'll contact you through the guild if I come across anything. Boyd, Sergeant Major Seeker, excellent work, both of you. I don't know, I don't feel like I was particularly useful, if I'm being honest. Not true, Sergeant Major, you were a huge help. In fact, you were more help than Lloyd. If anything, I feel like I'm the one who needs to improve, see? Even Lloyd admits it. I should have been able to follow through and make the arrest without relying on outside help. Don't be so conceited. You knew from the outset that this arrest was assigned to the special support section in name alone. And notwithstanding, uh, would you honestly consider what you did completely without merit? Well, humility is well and good, but objective self-assessment and situational awareness are essential for any senior detective. You may not be an actual member of the First Division, but you should still take that value to heart. Dudley. Most people have trouble taking compliments, not giving them. How difficult can it be to say good job and leave it at that? Oh, shut up. Anyway, Bannings, with this, your First Division training is now complete. Take what you've learned here and apply it as you make your new start. I will, thanks for everything. Now then, we'll be going on ahead. I look forward to the next time we get to collaborate. Same here. Good work, everyone. Take care, fellas. Little teaser to Calvar to taunt players. Yeah, I was actually really surprised that they actually showed some of Calvar here. Got to wait until um, they don't have a name for it yet, do they? Is it Kuro no Kaseki? That's the the Calvard game. Man, oh man, aren't you a pair of lucky ducks? Must be nice being under their wings, huh? Even if you don't technically answer to them. Yeah, it really is. Uh, agreed. I could say the same about Chief Sergei as well. So now what? Uh, you two gonna take the train back to Crossbell? That's the plan. Oh right, what are you gonna do now, Father Kevin? Crossbell is only one station from here. We'd uh, love to have you visit so we can thank you properly. I appreciate the offer, but there's someone I have to meet after this. Truth be told, though, I wouldn't mind getting some uh, more dirty deets about that cult. The DG cult. Is the church looking into it, too? Well, not exactly. Last time we officially involved ourselves with them was during the incident four uh, years ago. Four years ago? You mean after the suppression operation by the Bracer Guild National Armies and Police Forces? Bingo. The church had to bust down a lodge that had slipped through the cracks. And just between you and me, that one was said to be the worst. The rituals they were conducting there uh, would make the human experiments in Altair look like a tea party in comparison. You don't say. Disgusting. Uh, they were the lowest of the low. You know, Arios actually bailed me out back then. Uh... Since I, w uh, since I still owed him big time, this worked out pretty well. I'd say so. Thanks to you, we were able to take Ernest back alive. You have our gratitude. We couldn't have done it without you. Nah. It's just like the guy in the specs said. It's all because of you that he survived. Because of me? How? Well, when things were at their worst, it was your words that kept him from going over the edge. If not for that, I probably wouldn't have been able to do much of anything. You think so? Of course, that has to be it. Uh, he would have never come back to his senses if you hadn't talked him through it. Sergeant Major. Uh, you're part of the special support section, right? I'd love to hear more about it if we ever get the chance. This cult incident should be settled, but you never know what else could pop up. Yeah, you never know what else could just pop up. I'm I'm anxiously waiting for something to pop up. Yeah, I'd like that too. I guess this is goodbye for now then. It was nice meeting you. Right back at ya.
That's Lloyd, huh? Kid's got a lot of potential. Guess that explains how he was able to give Estelle and Joshua the help they needed. Still, looks like the odds are gonna be stacked against him this time around. Kevin. Oh, is that a home trick slice? Hey, you sure took your sweet time. And what's with the bag? It is home trick slice. Uh... Reese? Right, race? Something like that. Uh, that little stand over there sells Altair's specialty, roasted chestnuts. Fresh from the oven and exquisitely sweetened, they're delicious. That doesn't mean you have to buy an entire bag of them. Seriously, are you going to be okay on your own? I could always tag along, you know. No thanks. Knowing your track record, our cover would be blown in an instant. I'd rather Archbishop Aralda not burn me at the stake for sneaking you in. Oh, come on, no way he'd go that far. And again, I don't think uh, the guy will ever forgive what happened with Owen from the Congregation for Divine Worship. Since that incident, he's had zero tolerance for the Congregation for the Sacraments. And that's exactly why it's best if I go undercover by myself. You know that, don't you, Kevin? Fine, I get it. For real, though, uh, why the boss lady opted to send you into the lion's den alone is beyond me. I think she made the right choice. Don't do anything reckless while I'm away. Do I make myself clear, Kevin? I don't want you causing trouble for Caesar and Marcia. Fine, fine, message received. But be careful, okay, Reese? Ah, ah, I remember her. Uh, there's no telling how bad things are about to get. Uh, the way you're headed. Uh, the way you're headed. Is that the same spelling as the last name of Ernest? This could get confusing very fast. Uh, call me if it turns too hairy over there. And don't forget about our trump card. I'll keep that in mind, but is the situation truly that bad? Yeah, Crossbell's the kind of place uh, where the sacred and profane are in intertwined. And it looks like the snakes are starting to slither around in the shadows again. The snakes are not on the plane. The city of sin. It might not be long before Crossbell lives up to that name. Hill. Uh, Chrono Kaseki, yep. No official English name yet. And that's not for another six games after Azure. Six games? Wait. So there's a game after Reverie? And before Kuro no Kaseki? What? What? I didn't know that. Uh, thank goodness we were able to accomplish the mission. Honestly, I was nervous I would only get in the way. Shouldn't worry so much. Commander Bales has a lot of faith in you. She gave you a sterling recommendation. I, for one, am excited to have you on board, Sergeant Major. And I'm happy to be here. Oh, but there is one thing. Can you just call her Seeker? Well, officially, I'm going to be working under you for the time being. Plus, I'm not in uniform, so you don't have to address me by rank. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have a point. Would you prefer it if I called you by your name, then? I wouldn't mind at all. Alright, looking forward to working with you, Noel. Or Noel. Uh, oh, and don't worry about addressing me any differently just because you're new to the SSS. We're the same age, not to mention co-workers, so it wouldn't make sense for you to treat me like a superior. What? You just want me to treat you like a colleague? I can't do that, there's no way. I'm the rookie here, and you're our leader. I should act like it. Oh really, you don't need to get so worked up about this. It's not like Ellie, Randy, or Teo talk to me any differently. Yeah, but this sort of thing is kind of wired into me. 
Uh, the second my mind gets set on something, there's no convincing it otherwise. Still, orders are orders. I pledge to do my utmost to be cool and casual. Not like that. You don't have to force yourself, Noel. Uh, there's nothing you don't take seriously, is there? Yeah, I think I get it from my dad. Fran and I had a pretty strict upbringing thanks to him. He wanted to make sure we learned some self-discipline. Oh, so that's what he's like. Come to think of it, I know I've met your mother before, but I don't think I've ever seen your father. He passed away about ten years ago. He was in the Guardian Force, too. There was an incident while he was on duty. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Was he the one who inspired you to join the CGF? Well, I've honestly never really thought about it like that. I joined because I wanted to protect Crossbell, but thinking on it, I suppose he felt just the same. Same goes for Fran, too, even if her way of helping out is different. I see. Lloyd? Sorry, it's nothing. I'm thankful you agreed to join the SSS. We're short on manpower at the moment. Uh, there could be some tough fights ahead of us, too. We're lucky to have you. Glad to be of help. But with the Mafia gone, shouldn't things be a lot safer in Crossbell? There's still Heiyue to contend with, but they don't seem to be making any conspicuous movements. Not on the surface, at least. There's no denying that Ravash did play an important role. In a sense, they helped maintain order in Crossbell. Like a droning noise. Rating montage. Oh, I I get it now. Suck a fool. You meant Curl is the sixth game after Azure. Ah, okay. Curl one and two are Trails eleven and twelve. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, the Mafia was helping keep the pace or peace. Uh, in a manner of speaking. Consider the unique situation Crossbell finds itself in. The state has autonomy, but no sovereignty, and is constantly interfered with by its two neighboring major powers. There are a lot of loopholes in our criminal justice system and virtually no restrictions on immigration. It wouldn't be a surprise if another crime syndicate like Heiwei or even a terrorist organization took root here. Oh. So up until now, Ravash's presence had been suppressing the worst of it. I hate to admit it, but yes, they brought a sense of order to the criminal underworld. But now Ravash is no more, thanks to their involvement in the cult incident. In other words, the balance of power is gone. The balance of power must be preserved. I think that's Cassidy from League of Legends? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the same could be said of the Diet members who fell from grace, whether pro-Empire or pro-Republic. With their mouthpieces gone, the major powers will likely be even more blatant with their interference. That's precisely why I think our new mayor has such high expectations of us. Now I'm starting to get it. That's the reason Leto and Randy are on leave from the SSS, isn't it? Exactly. They've been strengthening our team's relations so we can coordinate and handle these new challenges better when the time comes. I was also given the opportunity to train with the 1st Division. It's been quite a learning experience. But with the SSS resuming operations and us being short-handed, we had to recruit some fresh blood. Some new blood. Some young blood. I was an honor to have been asked. Well, that reminds me. About what? Our other new member. I met him once before, right? Kind of surprised someone like him would want to join. How did he end up getting recruited? I'm guessing this is going to be, uh, I don't remember his name. It, it's, it's a, it's like pronounced differently than, or it's pronounced in a, a weirdish way than it's, it's the kid, the kid that was in the sewers. I'm predicting it's going to be him. What was his name? Jonas? They pronounce it like Jonas, but it's, you know, Jonas? Something like that? Uh, well, he was the one who came to us. It was just when we'd begun scouting for new members. He even had a letter of recommendation from the mayor. Uh, we couldn't just turn him away. 
the mayor gave him a recommendation? Maybe it's not him then. Yeah, it was uh, his thanks for having helped during the crisis at the IBC building. I don't even know where he heard the SSS was looking for new members, or for that matter, why he'd be interested in joining. Maybe it is him. All he said was it seemed interesting. Well, that's one way to sign up, I suppose. Not like he's a bad guy or anything. His background is a mystery, but he does have connections to the underworld. Plus his experience working as a host. Oh, it's, uh, I don't remember his name. <laughs> it's not Jonas, the sewer kid. It's, uh, it's the leader of, uh, not like, not the, he has like green hair. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What's his name? Uh, there's, there's the big guy who leads like the red Mohawks. And then there's the, the green haired guy who leads, you know, like, like the priest cult guys you know like they're two opposing sides of, of the gangs and yeah saying that out loud just makes him sound even shadier doesn't it why would he join that's so weird i'm sure everything will be fine probably he didn't come off or he did come off as a bit sarcastic and rude but he didn't strike me as a bad person i'm uh glad you're taking to it honestly i was afraid you'd be opposed to him joining well, I haven't forgotten about him teasing me. But if I had to say, I think he has more fun picking on you, Lloyd. Don't I know it? Uh, maybe I shouldn't mention just how amusing Fran finds that part. Attention all passengers. We'll be arriving in Crossbell City shortly. Passengers bound for Liberal or Remiferia via airship, please disembark here to transfer. Additionally, per Zemurian Railroad Co uh, Corporation bylaws, this train will remain at Crossbell Station for 30 minutes upon arrival. Passengers bound for Erebonia, please have your entry application ready for the inspection officer. That went by pretty fast. Then again, I guess uh, we were only one stop away. Yeah. Uh, even it. Uh, even if we were only gone for a few days, it still feels good to be home. I know what you mean. It won't be much longer now before we're all back together again. Hope you didn't miss me too much, Kia. The sucker. I was gonna say, like, when are we gonna get the, uh, the anime intro? gonna be the green haired guy. I'm hoping it's gonna be someone else. But I can't think of anyone else who actually played a role in the whole IBC. Was he in there for the IBC thing? Honestly, I don't remember much about the IBC thing. Other than like we were holed up inside of it and uh you know all the uh Gnosis people were fighting us and stuff like that, and we had to break out. Oh, craziness. Lido! Welcome home! Kia, you came all this way to greet us. Uh-huh. I heard you'd be coming home today. Are you okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? No, I'm fine. It's good to be back, Kia. Welcome home, Lloyd. Welcome home to you too, Noel. It's nice to see you again, Kia. Noe! Oh, Fran. I'm so glad you're okay, Noe. Welcome home. You aren't hurt, right? Not perfectly fine, as you can see. Stop overreacting. It's only been a few days. Uh, you don't get it at all, Noe. Time has nothing to do with it. 
Isn't that right, Kia? Yeah, exactly. Now it really does feel like we're home. Glad you two made it back safely. Oh. Ah. I thought I was going to be the Commander Bales, but when it was the young woman voice, I was like, I don't think that would be Commander Bales. Ellie, you're back already. Uh, yes. Just arrived yesterday. I'm done assisting Grandfather with his work, so I'm free to return to the SSS starting today. That's great. I'm sure you must have been working hard. If I remember correctly, you were accompanying Speaker McDowell on his tour across the continent, right? Yes, although I don't know how much help I truly was. However, I did come across a lot of useful information while traveling. You did, I look forward to hearing about it later. But I don't want to hear about it now. Uh, now that you're here, we just need Tio and Randy to come home too. Well, they should be back by the end of the month. More importantly, Lloyd, were you able to close the case? Yes, we managed to apprehend both of them without incident. Dudley and Arios have them in custody. Got it. And I guess this wraps up the Colt case, doesn't it? I'm sure you know what comes next. We're going to need you to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, of course. As for you, Noel, welcome aboard. You're already good to go, yeah? Well, Seeker, reporting. Starting today, I will be working under you as a member of the Special Support Section. Whoa. Now you're officially part of the team, Noe. Yeah, and for the record, you don't have to be so formal. I'm sure Sonia told you, but the SSS has got its own way of doing things. So for now, lose the formalities. We're not running a military brigade here. I'll try. Looks like the gang's all here. It is him. See? I knew it. Wazy. Yeah, it's Wazy. It's good to see you're still in one piece. I take it everything went well. Yeah, it was thanks to your tip-off that we were able to get in touch with an informant in Altair. Still, where did you even get your hands on intel like that? It takes a snake to know a snake, as they say. I don't think you understand the implications that you are, uh, throwing out there right now. I wouldn't do this for anyone but you. I'm glad I could be of service. Wow. Hey, personal space. Why do you have to nuzzle up on me? What a silly question. Because your reactions are such a treat to see, obviously. Give me a break. Honestly, Lazy. Really is an odd guy. Lazy always knows how to have fun. I wish I could be in the SSS. Then I'd get to see Noe and Kia all the time, not to mention Lloyd's flustered face. No, that's not something you should be jealous of, Fran. Seriously, knock it off already. Now back to business. We've got with us here the starting members of the new and improved special support section. Its leader, Lloyd Bannings. Yes, sir. Second in command, Ellie McDowell. Yes. Guardian Force Transfer, Noel Seeker. Reporting. And our associate member, Wazy Hemisphere. Ah, why is it him? Why is it him? I need, I need all the backstory from Wazy right now about why this is a thing. And then I need to know why Sergey decided that this was a good idea. Oh, Rapol. As of 6.30 p.m. today, I hereby declare the special support section reinstated. Look forward to another mountain of fun jobs I'll be throwing your way. Yeah, I'll be ignoring most of them. As much as I would love to... Oh, I didn't... I didn't... I didn't mark at two hours. Well, we're, we're going to find some, some spot there. Uh, as, as much as I would love to, uh, to, uh, do side quests and stuff like that, I'll probably take the, the same approach as I did in Trails from Zero, and, uh, only do side quests 
that have to do with like monster exterminations or stuff that I know the rewards for. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe the side quests are better in this game. I doubt it, but, you know, maybe. got to be all up in this game, too. Ah, I know who that was. And I think I know who those two are. I think I know... I know who those people are. I think I know who the people were before those people. I know what that is. I know what that is, too. Why is he in the special support section? You gonna bring the other guy into the group too? Like, come on. You know what? I'm gonna do like a backup mark here. You know, backup mark. Just in case. Just in case. Can't believe that spoiled parts of Azure for me. <laughs> <laughs> 